for the Universal Champion. And Adrian Buck, just like that, wins his belt back and again another four and a half star match. Xavier Woods added again with another double cost. We got another GM trophy, so maybe this will put us into first place? And that has us at first place. What's going on guys? My name is Matt and welcome back to the channel. First I want to address the uh, scheduling issue that happened uh, this past weekend. Uh, we actually had a crazy weather day in uh, Montreal, Canada on Wednesday where we had freezing rain that basically led to a ton of trees falling. This is my backyard with all the, the debris in there. This is my backyard a day later. So like, that's how crazy the weather was. The ice was here for one day, the next it was gone. Anyways, I didn't have power for four days and uh, thankfully we're, we're back up and running. So now we can focus again on the uh, Mission Impossible My GM series and uh, we'll kick it off in uh, episode four. Keep those comments coming of uh, who your favorite uh, current wrestler is for the draw once we hit that 1K. And uh, yeah, it's good to be back focusing on normal life. So uh, let's jump in to see where we are at this date in the season. So we are currently in first place, but this is the ratings for the, the fans where we technically are in second. We have the number one rank right now because we have two GM trophies, but Raw do have a 50,000 fan lead on us. So we'll have, to, uh, we'll have to battle back because I'm sure Xavier Woods is not far away from getting his second GM trophy. We'll go because, yeah, we see here we got, uh, we completed this and we, we got this trophy, so that is good. We can go and check. We got a huge power card last episode of the special promotion, which, again, probably more beneficial in later seasons, but I might need to use it this season. Uh, what is making me lean towards using it this season is if we have a TLC match this week, we get another special promotion. So that will be huge going in to uh, as this season comes to an end. We also have, uh, we promised Whitney Quaid a special match within the last two weeks, Last Man Standing. We can do that. So I think, I think we can get this done. So what we want to do is, uh, I'm going to book that TLC right away. In the opener with our tag champions, get those guys here. And then we had, who was it? It was Chester and Kombucha here. We'll put the tag team titles on the line, tag team TLC. Hopefully that gets us a pretty good, uh, a pretty good opener we have i think we have a level three rivalry here in uh billy slugger and andrea cannon so that is good and then do i have another level two or higher i do in heath manhattan and cash suplex I gotta watch out for heath's uh for heath's stamina there so i'm gonna go ahead and i think i gotta play a couple power cards one is gonna be this guy here heath is the only one who's upset with me at the moment uh, like not just like status quo like he's he's like red face mad so we're gonna play this card on heath because he's one of our permanent uh, wrestlers as well so we'll have him change that around and wow he was so upset he's now just okay uh and do i have a pre-match physio i don't think i do which is a little bit annoying <sighs> okay but i want to get that show bonus for uh for this week play all those still uh unav i don't know if it's available there we go perfect so shows are starting to add up as well. We are, and we do have to pay attention for this guy here because the uh, the big stadium is available week 20. So I need to be conscious of that. I need to save at least at least $200,000. Because again, we're playing with that money cap. Can't go under $500,000. Got to have at least $200,000 ready for this. But I do have the free arena booking. So I could use that on PLE also. So we'll just keep that in mind. Uh, this is the TLC. You got this is the bonus. So good, good, good. And then what else do we want to get going here? Our women's tag team champions are almost back and ready. One more week for Penelope. Perfect. Uh, I guess we can also try to get something started between John the Fisherman and our new champion Nick Nosedive. They can have a singles match. Maybe get that going. And I won't put the title on the line just yet because I don't want to outshine that because it might. Uh, in the main event, we'll make this a uh, a tables match. I think that should be pretty good, and we'll outperform these two. And this one should, I'm, I'm hoping, at least get us something pretty decent. For the promos, we're going to start this and have uh, have Whitney Quaid recover. Good popularity there. And she'll be feuding with Carolina Reaper, I think, is what I want to do. Because we have a few other things brewing here, so we'll do that. Have a call out between 
her and her good five uh five promo quality so that is good and then maybe do a couple sell promos here for adrian buck i think and she he needs the full recovery uh ignition could be okay maybe she can call out ali brawler we'll see about that actually and i think i might pair up danielle wallace and ali brawler to go for the tag team titles hopefully take them away from our two struggling uh our two struggling wrestlers down there who have their popularity taken a big hit because of injury so that is on me stack mcslax is on his way out didn't really find a few he only has one week left and i think i might release nicholas mann to give a beginner's luck to penelope perfect so i think uh, yeah before doing anything else gonna go there manage roster and nicholas mann is 32 popularity just isn't cutting it so he'll get the boot if star power is one so then when Stax leaves, it'll be Penelope Perfect, who is the lowest. So, okay. So she'll she'll get it, which is good. Free agents, there was no one here available this week. It's all uh, actual wrestlers, so that's no problem. Nothing even to consider. That's all good. And then uh, maybe a couple self promos here. Who is doing okay stamina-wise? I guess no one really, eh? Everyone kind of needs a break. Um... I guess I could do, I'll do a self promo here and I think this is going to start up again, maybe we'll, we'll, we'll have to see because that was, I think the first rivalry. Uh, so we'll see, I'll do a self promo for Clay. So he's ready to go next week or actually no, I'll do a, his, his popularity for a, a job is already good. Let's go ahead and get some charity, get some extra fans in here. Show cost only 120,000, not too bad. This is level three. Hopefully there's no injury there. It's just a singles match. Commissioner goal is met uh, within two weeks. So that's, that was completed. I'm... Maybe I did it already. Oh, I think I did do it already. Good, okay, well, great. So but this is the important one, the uh, special promotion. So we can go ahead and just go through. This is the, this hopefully gets a level four. That's good. We do have to, we have to also keep in mind our shakeup card that was a uh, high risk, high reward right now, especially for our, our money cap that we, that we've been still here is the high class resolution. So I need to keep in mind that any, uh, any rivalry that is concluded, we get 10,000 fans. Yes. Big bonus. But at the same time, we lose 30 grand. So that again is something we have to uh, keep in mind. So hopefully, uh, hopefully we make some money from this show. We got all the optional bonuses, which is good. We got the tag team titles on the line in a TLC match. So I'm hoping that's pretty solid. And a tables match in the main event that is Rivalry 3. We got Charity there. Give us fans, self-promo, and a call out. Let's, let's go. So again, hoping for, some, uh, hoping for some big money here. So in the in this, hopefully at least three star. I mean, it's only Rivalry 1. We have new tag team champions in a four star match. Love to see that. Good stuff there by the heels. Uh, hopefully the... Hopefully the uh, the uh, the popular doesn't take a hit too much there from Olaf and Triton. But this is now level one rivalry. Perfect. Nick Nozai versus John the Fish Herman. Nick Nozai picks up the win in a good three-star match. I'd love to see that. Our, our our popularity is coming along here from all our jobbers, which is great. We got Heath Manhattan versus Cash Suplex. Normal one-on-one. -on -one. Heath picks up the win. Okay, two and a half star. That's now four level four rivalry. Hopefully Heath is okay. Clay, good promo, perfect. And then this, I really think, should outdo the, the second mid card there, which it does in a three and a half star. So, again, a really good show uh, for, for us. Four star opener, three and a half star main event. We got Logan Paul versus John Cena. Look at that. Logan Paul popular 87, John Cena 96. Their classes line up. That's probably going to be a good match. And then Gunther versus Rey Mysterio, you should know it's going to be a good match as well. And it was relatively cheap for Raw, too. Just a table match in the main event. So skip that. NXT got Raquel versus Alexa. That's going to be pretty solid as well. Classes line up. And then uh, main event tag match. We'll see if the title match doesn't outshine. The, the mid-card table match might outshine that main event. I'm not sure. We'll have to see. And then over on NXT 2.0, no promos booked. We got Edge versus Six in, in the main event. And again, another a title match in the mid card on NXT 2.0 as well. So we'll have to see. Oh, that's we'll check NXT 2.0 in a second. So NXT 2.0's opener did not do well at all. 
uh and then where yeah 3.5 3.5 so nxt's mid card outdid their main event so that probably isn't great for them we had a pretty good show honestly we might have the best show out of all of them maybe well, raw's gonna get amazing booking for the opening and main being at least four so that's good for them uh do oh, we, oh gunter got injured so that's not good for raw did we get any injuries here? Yes, Manhattan stayed stayed healthy, which is great. Love to see that. No rivalry started here, which that is annoying. So maybe we'll do the uh, the old double promo next week. Uh, we got the new champions, which is good. And that went to level two. And then where <laughs> I want to check NXT 2.0, who have both X Pac and Six. So Sean Walton pulling double duty here for uh, for for NXT 2.0 and uh, poor Kurt Angle. Kevin Owens retained his title and then suffered a five-week injury. So that's brutal. Show quality C, match card quality B. Love to see that. 49,000 fans from SmackDown. And we made 58,000, so it's great. Saving some money on the way up. Show quality D, match card quality B. I think Raw is saving money because they, they're they trying to get that stadium. So maybe if another if another double cost card or um, the, uh, the effects booking doubled or, or whatever it is, maybe play that on Raw. Hopefully uh, hurt their budget because they are... Uh, a little short there on cash. They had the exact same fans as us. NXT, 47,000, so we gained a little bit on them. They made for NXT will be okay for getting the new uh, the new venue. And NXT 2.0, tough week for them. And they they made money at least, but they'll have a hard time getting that big arena as well. So we got our second special promotion, which is fantastic. Uh, we are still currently in first place, and no one else got their second GM trophy as of now. But basically, we and uh, us and Raw had the same amount of fans basically this week, so they still have that fifty thousand fan lead on us. You don't seem to realize this, Breeze, but I'm a bit of a master on the mic. This should be interesting. Um, I want to make a mark in my promo drink tonight's show. Uh, I can give the tag team title guys a rest, I think. So we'll say sure. Maybe he'll do a charity thing. Uh, Ali Brahe Breeze, uh, you've seen the work I've been putting in. I can do more for the brand. Okay, what are you asking for? Uh, run a main event match. Uh, seems reasonable. Ali Brahe has been uh, underrated for us. Like She's been an MVP so far, so we're going to say yes. Schedule running on your most popular variable superstar. I guess injury rehab, which is good. Um, so we'll see who is my most popular superstar right now. That is Nick Nosedive. So maybe you can try to get something going there. Uh, Heath was okay. Triton wants to cut the promo. He actually still went up in popularity, which is good. Um, and how, where's the uh, where's Olaf? Where is Olaf? Olaf forty eight. So that's not ideal, but at the same time, that's okay. Forty eight and fifty, continuing that tag feud with fifty five now and seventy three. So that should be pretty solid. I'm gonna go ahead and play the. I'm gonna play the. Power card, Ooh, double cost advertising, interesting. I need to watch how much I'm spending here. But, uh, maybe uh, 25,000. I think I can do that. I'm going to buy that this week. Just 25,000. I'm going to pass on the two extreme and the injury rehab for now. Um, just because. We'll see. How is the stamina of the roster? 48, 54. Okay, Clay Cortman probably have to call it this week. Uh, Adrian Buck only went up uh, 12. I thought you get 18 stamina if you get the week off. Interesting. Heath Manhattan probably needs a week off. Uh, he might even need, need two weeks off, honestly, for the uh, for the PLE to be ready to go. Ali Brawler versus, okay, 97. And where are you, Ali Brawler? 54. We can do a big main event uh, for these two. Okay, so that is good. That'll make Ali Brawler happy. In the main event slot. A hell in the cell, maybe? Or is that going to hurt hurt too much? I wonder. If we do hell in the cell versus... Where is Ali Brawler? Versus Ignition. It's possible. It's possible. We'll leave that there for now. Um, Reaper versus Whitney Quaid got started, which is good. And Quaid is ready to go. Um, that didn't go up one. Well, th that's annoying. But uh, their stamina is still good, so we can use that again for the bonus. So that might be in the opener, actually. Let's do an extreme rules for them. As I say, I'm not going to spend too much money. I'm just like loading the card right now. But here we go. Okay, so that's the opener. 
we could have Nick no no well, <laughs> Nick nosedive pardon me versus uh, John the fisherman good popularity uh, who else could he go up against this would be a good match goes on cooldown though do this to start to get the the run in here from fisherman on nose dive that should be pretty solid because of the what we've added on here should be pretty solid as well unless i want to change that to a submission and use the power card i could do that so I do have, what, uh, Last Man Standing, and then Submissive, I, do I have any other? It's just those two, eh? Okay, so we'll have to check. Do I buy the two extreme just to have it for the pay-per-view, just in case? I'm gonna pass on it for now and hope to not regret that later. So, got this, got this, got this, got this. Have the run-in scheduled there. And then we could have... Our champ could be in action. Hopefully that doesn't outperform this. So I get, I, I think I will do that, actually. So this is actually going to cost me a little bit now. Because this is 35000 The rivalry is going to end. So it's going to be... It's actually 65000 but we're going to get... 12,000 fans so we'll have to watch that I'm gonna play this so it is so it is good and I think rivalry level one both their popularity is pretty solid 62 and 52 but hopefully that uh, that will outdo this that might advance and then here we go calling some okay first before I forget do the charity for mr. Triton wanted to do the oh no Triton no! Okay, <laughs> who else could this be? Uh, Olofsky, I guess? And then Triton can call out. Or do his charity promo like he wanted, I guess. So we'll do that. Okay, show is starting to add up a little bit. Starting to add up. Um, another charity, possibly, from Clay Courtman this time. And then maybe a call out by, so Buck, it was Buck and Nose I was on cooldown, so Buck could call out uh, Cortman to start one there, get, get ready for the, not this PLE, but the one after that. I like to always try to set myself up with at least, um, with at least a, a couple level two rivalries going out of a PLE to start the new stretch. So I think this should be pretty solid. We're, that's getting the special boost, no title on the line here. That's okay, this is Extreme Rules. So the show is costing exactly 40,000. Oh, do I, I didn't want this to be advertising. No, cause that'll go, his popularity goes way down, doesn't it? But maybe I need it at this moment. We'll see. Uh, maybe I will leave that at uh, that. Why is, uh, oh, these are both level one. Hmm. Do I have another? Do I have another level two rivalry going? It's just a tag rivalry. Oh, and this guy and these guys here. Okay. Do I pass up on the? I guess I actually kind of have to. I'm gonna pass up on that bonus, which I hate doing. I love those bonuses, but uh, make this extreme rules. It's medium stamina, so they should be okay. Honestly, for the week after, even if I need it. Um, we have Triton cutting his promo, which that's what he wanted. Right, yeah, cut a promo, and Alley Brawler wants the main event, which she's getting. We are getting an injury rehab card from Triple H, which is always good. And I think uh, I think we're just good to go after that. So $140,000 show. This will be kind of expensive, so we got to watch out. So with it being so expensive, I hope that they, this gets us some uh, some results here. So Andrew Cannes with Billy Slugger in the opener in an Extreme Rules. Amazing four-star match on that Ghost Level 4. We'd love to see that. Great opener so far. Uh, we got Charity there, so that is good. 5,000 fans. John the Fish Herman running in on Nick Nosedive, giving Olaf the win. Three-star match. Love to see that. Clay Cortman. The, fantastic. His popularity did not drop at all, and he made a 17 grand. That That is a huge, huge call. I've made some big mistakes so far. Uh, in this season or in this series, but this I think really paid off for us. 
to have Clay Cortman not dropping at all. Oh, it's a fluff came down on me. Not dropping at all in popularity and making a 17 grand. That's absolutely huge. Whitney Quaid versus Carolina Reaper. Their level one rivalry. Whitney Quaid picks up the win. Three star match. Love to see it. Will this work? Excellent promo. This uh, that that shakeup card of the uh, all specialists getting promo skills really helping right now. And in the main event, I'm, this should get us a pretty good rating. I'm hoping at least four with the the power card being played. And an amazing four star match rivalry complete. So we'll, <laughs> there is going to be some money shakeups with some fan shakeups as well. So we'll have to watch that. But a really good card. But four star three three and four. Love to see that. Becky Lynch versus Charlotte Flair. This is still ongoing. Like this has been going, like, I think, since week one. <laughs> so I think the fans are getting tired of that, but it's not hurting their match ratings at all. So that is annoying. And then the uh, the big main event of Logan Paul versus John Cena at tables match. Okay, so we'll just skip that. Raw seems to have another one of our uh, one of our guys. Maybe I missed someone this week. We got the North American title on the line in the opener and a tag team title match in the main. So big title matches here on NXT. And over on NXT 2.0, we got the call out of Sassy Molassi on... Oh, there is... NXT has a power card of some sort. Uh, NXT 2.0 has a power card of some sort going on right now. With uh, the promos and call outs are way cheaper over on their brand. I wonder if they... I, that is something that, uh, that I hope to see change for my GM next year from 2K23. Is the fact that I need I need want to see what what's happening on the other show's brands like, like what are their rosters at like who like what who has good popularity who has bad stamina who's good stamina what shakeup cards do they get because they obviously have something here with their promos being so cheap 750 and 625 like something's up there so we'll have to see that and uh they had they had the big blow of kevin owens being injured last week so that's tough for them we got amazing booking uh nxt 2.0 is kind of Kind of throwing it right now with a four-star mid card and a 2.5 star main event. Raw had a poor opening, so that's I think this should be our week here. This should be our week. We're gonna be the only one that got amazing booking. Yeah, so we're the only one that got amazing booking, which is good. Raw didn't get a poor open. That's it. Oh, because their mid card was even worse. Okay, so any injuries? If no injuries here, yeah, this is like a perfect week from us. Good stuff. Okay, I didn't play the to the moon card. I realized on Penelope Perfect. Or the uh, the uh, beginner's luck. I have to do that this week. Show quality D, match card quality B, which is good. 48,000 fans. Love to see that. And there's going to be a bunch of other bonuses too. And we still made money, which I love to see. So we're getting a, around uh, that million dollar mark again, which is good. Uh, that's a really great week, honestly. Show quality C, match card quality B from Raw. Who, who is watching this? What 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 is that about? They had a 2.5 star opener. 2.5. Two, two star mid and 2.5 star other mid and a four star close and they outdo us like i don't know about that that uh i don't i don't know that is very strange and they made good money too again which is annoying for uh that big stadium around the corner nxt 51 as well what what is happening i thought i easily had the best uh the best week maybe i miss, messed something up with the logistics and i wasn't paying attention but I don't know. That seems very fishy. But we should get a lot closer, though, because we're going to get a 10,000 or, I mean, even 11,000 fan bonus from this. So uh, we're still in first. We did close the gap a little bit, but at the same time, I thought it'd be more than that because, man, I definitely had a better week than Raw. And no one else has their second GM trophy as of right now, so that is good. Two weeks away to Survivor Series. Hey there, Gun Breeze. Okay, Adam Pierce is checking in. You're gonna. You're putting up a better fight than expected, but it won't last. Okay, just chirping me. No problem. Okay, I'll fill up the fall guy every week. Whatever match is one of them next. Okay, ignition. That loser Herman attacked me during my match last fight. I'm not gonna let it say that. I want to settle things in the ring within the next three weeks. We can definitely do that. Sure thing, Nick Nosedive. Uh, rest your. Ooh, I was gonna do that this week. Health spa. Um, maybe, maybe we'll see. And then you want to match here, and you want to win your next one. Okay. Uh, free agents. Oh, we got Lurch Evans again on five-week contract, but at the same time, uh, no for stamina eighty-two. That's all to have, just in case. 
but I'm gonna say no for now. Let's see uh, how did the, oh, that didn't increase one though, that is annoying. Or maybe it's beneficial, depending on how I look at this. These, the girls here are at four, so that is good. This got to level one. So I can maybe, I can put this on a, a title match and get a pretty good ra rating, I think. Both these guys' popularity, uh, 85 and 72, which is good. Normal match would, is what I'll do because their stamina is kind of low, but we have a, a week in between the PLE to get that on the show. We could do that. And then I want to, yeah, got to get this going. Got to get this. Honestly, I, I don't even need a feud to start here. I just need the titles to change hands. Gonna do Ali Brawler and Danielle Wallace. That would be huge if these, if the, the heels can pull this off, just to uh, gain some extra popularity moving forward. Uh, do that title match as well. Um, we have hmm, 43 stamina with 60, 81, and where's Olaf? Olaf actually could use a break as well, so maybe I do cool it on the on the tag team feud, because then this can do another singles match to get me the bonus, and then we can actually ha almost have like a title, a title show, um, these two again. They are gonna be on cooldown as of next week, so I got one more to gain from this. Switch the 59 popular and 49 versus. Oh, I don't know what she's gonna outdo. <laughs> um, their stamina is pretty bad, but we can get away with one more. I think. What's high? I don't want to do that. Hmm. Could do another tables match, possibly. Get away with that. That got us a, I think that got us a four star match last time. It was at least three and a half. It's just this versus. I'm not going to put the title on the line in that one. So, what we're going to do is this should. I hopefully get us like a three star normal. Heath is going to be okay. We're, we're putting it out there. Heath is not going to get hurt. He's going to be fine. We like that. Heath is not getting hurt. And then, uh, power cards that are available. Fix match. Even I could grab that and then just play it immediately for those heals to win. We could see. Or I can just start that feud with them. So I'm going to grab a fixed match. Going to go ahead and play. This should be on Penelope Perfect, right? Okay, so that's going to get her to what? <laughs> Not even 50. But she has good stamina. We're going to we're gonna look at this in a, in a positive way. We're, we're getting her there. Any of the talent right now. Contracts coming to an end. Clay Cortman coming to an end. Three weeks, there's seven weeks left, so I can keep him for the entirety of this season, which is good. Chests are coming to an end too, so I'll have to watch out for that. And I think that's it. Everyone, or no, and Triton seven. But seven weeks is good. That'll take us, right? Yeah, that should take us to the end. So I'll play the, uh, I can play the card on that for, um, for, uh, what am I trying to say here? For the uh, for the end of the season, we have one of those GM extend contracts, so that is good. Okay, so if we go back here, we're going to get the bonus because we have two level fours on here. Again, Heath is going to be okay. We have already spoken that into the universe. That's going to be fine. This is a tables match. This is a normals match because their stamina is low. I can see this getting... Uh, this, this one is the only one that might be a bit low. This is the only one I'm a little nervous about, but at the same time... If it gets us two and a half, three, like, hopefully that's okay. It's a title match. Let's be excited about it. This should get us hopefully three because it's level four. Same thing with this. So I think we should be okay. Show cost right now is only at 75,000, which you love to see. Gonna do, instead of calling out between Clay and Adrian Buck, gonna have them maybe just do some self promo. And just get popu popularity boost there. Or again, maybe maybe I should do another advertising there. <laughs> just take another chance on Clay, just getting us some some cash for not losing any popularity. Hopefully this works. Fingers crossed. And then I will do a call out from uh, from Reaper again to Quaid to maybe boost that to level two. Then next week I can I can rest this entire card need be, and then just go with Quaid versus Reaper, and then the tag the men's tag team title feud to have those two. Uh, 
level two rivalry to get the bonus. So we have all the bonuses here. This is all set up, which is good. Both these rivalries are gonna take a breather next week so that they can pay off at the PLE. And we should be good to go. All the bonus is good. Again, sign free agent who was uh, just Lurch, eh? Not yet. Not yet. Don't need him as of yet. Power cards, we took a look. We got the fixed match. 15k. It's nothing. Uh, we're going to play a whole bunch of things on Raw next week. Okay, good to go. I'm hoping that the title matches carry me here. This is level one rival, but good popularity. So hoping at least three new champion in John the Fish Hermit in a four star match. I'm liking where this is going. This is fantastic. Clay Cortman, big dip in popularity this time, but again, $17,000. That basically pays for like a quarter of this show. Second title match of the evening, tag team titles. Won by the heel, so that is good. New rivalry has started, both. Both Danielle and Ali's popularity, I think, should be mid-70s now. Excellent promo. Love to see that. Now Adrian will be more popular than Clay. That's funny. Heath Manhattan versus Cass Suplex. Non-title, just singles. Cash picks up the win in a three-star match. Okay, that's perfect. Will this girl up? This goes to two, so that is good. If this is over like three and a half. This will be like a perfect show. Four-star. Love to see it. Got amazing booking. Uh, I didn't miss any of the logistics, so I don't know how Raw's going to outdo me. Maybe it's just because their popularity is better than mine. They have their champion, who's 58th popularity, Randy Orton, versus the Boogeyman. And then again, that main event of John Cena and Logan Paul over on Raw. Okay. Uh, we got a title match of Asuka versus Shayna Baszler. That's a, a big match. Their title is vacant currently. So I guess someone left the show? Is that possible? They released somebody? Again, there's no news on that stuff. So, I don't know. And then Lita versus Raquel Rodriguez in the main event. Though I know for a fact those uh, their styles clash up well. But all normal except for the title tables match. That'll be a great opener. At least it should be for NXT. And NXT 2.0. Dana Brooke and Stacey Keebler versus Rhea Ripley and Ronda Rousey. I, can't, I don't think you can get any different teams matching up right here but uh good for them nxt 2.0 also have hollywood hogan six is cutting a cell promo and then xbox is in the main event so good for nxt 2.0 uh three four star openers so everyone everyone but nxt 2, no way okay I, I thought that was the uh the title match but it was just nxt nxt 2.0 had that that tag team match and that didn't do too well and we outperformed all the main events so we're the only one that's getting the uh the, the amazing booking heath is not injured let's go so that's fantastic and uh great I, an overall great show this came too right this is level two as well so i can even hold off on some of these to then duh, this we're, we're in a really really good spot right now show quality c match card quality b Forty-six thousand fans only so again really not sure like how like how this is happening made one hundred and nineteen thousand dollars, which is absolutely phenomenal raw show quality d match card quality b they made 46 as well so we're not gaining anything and they're gonna and i think that ten thousand dollar fan bonus uh is not applied yet or it is I'm, i think that one is unless there's a backstage brawl but uh they lost five thousand so they have to be careful for um i don't think they'll be able to buy it next week which is huge for us nxt uh black and gold Gained a couple thousand fans on us. That's okay. We'll still be over them, which is good. And then NXT 2.0. I can't see this being a good week. Yeah, 43. And not bad, though. Not not bad at all. And they made 100 grand. But uh, as it stands right now, I really don't think that Raw and NXT 2.0 will have the funds to buy the big stadium. So I think we should see a pretty big jump at the PLE. And I'm going to play our special promotion card. So this is looking good. Uh, do I almost... Thanks for my re rematch against the Herman. I mean, <laughs> against John the Herman the Fish. Okay, but uh, don't worry. Don't worry. Yeah, good. I'm happy that you joined. I'm putting a lot of work. How about a shot at the title? Ooh, interesting. Uh, you're right, Clay. Maybe within the next three weeks. Can't forget that. Have at least a uh, Vito star. It's a big one to have as well. For an Extreme Rules match, too. That's not even that expensive. So that is good. 
Okay, thank you, Triple H. Perfect. Get all these going so we don't forget right away. Manage roster. These two, you guys are going to call it. Take a, take a breather. Uh, we're a couple people who need a breather. But that's okay. Um, <laughs> I have a third special promotion. Do I... I can't... I can't pass that up, right? I mean... Yeah, no chance. Always need to... This is, this is the best card in the game. Best card in the game, for sure. Um, and then... So, two... I'm looking at... 200,000, so it's 780 to start next. I think we should be fine to, to even to get a second one going. I don't know. We'll see. What I'm going to do right now, actually, is... Oh, I blew that real bad. That was supposed to be played this week. That can't be played. Oh, that's annoying. That is annoying. Um, wow. Just play that to play that at this point. That could be a big blunder. Hopefully not, though. <laughs> Hopefully not. Okay, okay. Um, I'm going to buy this because after $120,000 earned last week was fantastic. So we're definitely going to take that. Um, okay, what do we got going here? Low stamina for all these three, and Nick nose dive, which is not great, but 48. Um, Cortman versus Buck. Okay, no problem. What uh, He won Extreme Rules match. Okay. But Reaper versus Quaid. That is level two. And then let's get our tag team title holders. Where are you? Against, where are you? 45 popularity and 47 versus Kombucha's popularity is still so bad. Okay, have that as a title match. This could be a title match, honestly, as well. Um, Stamina-wise, they are looking... Well, Chester and... Chester and Olofsky, not great. I want to maybe make that a cage match. But uh, flip this around. We'll see what's, what else do I have on tap here. You guys are okay. Stamina not good for Ali Brawler, which is annoying. But... Uh, okay. Uh, we can maybe their their popularity is good. Yours good. You're good. All four of these can have the 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 night off. They can have the week off, and I don't see anyone dropping below seventy. Like I can't see Nick Nose Eyes lo losing eight popularity, so that is okay. Uh, this needs to be paid off. That staying at two is good because we can start the next run of things with that. This will be paid off. Um, and then maybe. Maybe teaming with Ignition to go for the tag team titles, but unfortunately there's something already started there, and we can't get away from that. But, uh, okay, so for now, can we just throw something together for the last match of the evening? Which I think we can, which will do Ignition versus uh, Danielle Wallace. That's not on cooldown, is it? No. Okay, so that'll go over here. This show is not costing too much at the moment. This is going to be title on the line. And we're going to make that a tables match. So that should be a little bonus. And this will make titles on the line in, oops, titles on the line in the extreme rules match to make Triple H happy. What was, what was he going to give me? Oh, a veto star. So that's solid. Especially coming around WrestleMania season. That'd be brutal. So that is good. And then... Do some self promos, I guess, for Penelope, right? Promo skill four, good. Where is Christina Fury? Promo skill four, hopefully get yourselves up there. And then cash suplex, maybe? Cash suplex, this is not an expensive show, so you do some charity work, get us some fans. Okay, 100,000, uh, 110,000, that's not bad at all. A little worried about this being the main event, but titles are on the line. Extreme rules match, rivalry level two, so hopefully that gets us a nice... A nice rating. I see this going pretty well. So we got all the optional bonuses. Uh, anything else? We didn't check free agents. None available for us. Uh, power cards we already checked. Okay, so I think we're I think we're good to go. Yeah, solid. I think I think this should be a pretty solid show. Uh, yeah, we'll just go for it. Pretty good stamina. Hopefully this gets to level two. Even if I don't have to, I have space for these two on the. Uh, 
on the PLE, it still should be pretty solid. Just have it level two for the start again of next, uh, of week 21. So we'll go ahead and confirm this. I think I blew it about the double effects on Raw. Oh, but anyways, title on the line, Quaid versus Carolina Reaper. Quaid keeps her title in an amazing four-star match. Love to see it. I love these four-star matches coming over and over and over again. Penelope Perfect with an excellent promo, so that's fantastic. Danielle Wallace versus Ignition. Oh, Ignition's not going to be happy. She lost again. A two-and-a-half-star match. Not bad. Not bad. Definitely just as a normal normal match uh, like that with no rivalry. It's pretty solid. Two popularity for Christina Fury. This is level one rivalry normal match. Cortman picks up the win. Two and a half star, not bad, that's level two. Hopefully there's no injury there. I think Buck was at 40, so I don't think he can get injured. Excellent promo from Cash Suplex. And then in the main event, we just beat two and a half star, which I feel that we should. Chester and Kabucha keep the titles. Great three and a half, definitely take that. And that's at level three too, so we can even pay that one off at the PLE as well. So Lacey Evans versus Cindy Fluff versus Nikki Bella, that is wild. Um, we got, I'm pretty sure that's Tim Burr in there who's facing Rey Mysterio. Uh, and The Undertaker and John Cena versus Roman Reigns and Karrion Cross. What a match that is. So, pretty solid show by Raw. We got the tag team titles on the line between AJ Styles uh, and Montez Ford versus Kevin Nash and Dolph Ziggler. Again, NXT just had open titles. So, very strange. Um... Okay, and then NXT 2.0, no, no promos booked. Six versus Shinsuke Nakamura, Rikishi versus Hollywood Hogan, and Jake the Snake versus Johnny Gargano for the North American Championship, who no one has the title. It's vacant again. Is there a button to strip your champions of a title? Like, I, I don't know what, this, what that is. So, all pretty good openers. Yeah, Raw had the best show for sure. With four point uh, four star opener, three star mid, three point five star mid, and three point five star main event. NXT 2.0 didn't struggle. Okay, they they booked properly. Everyone's gonna get good booking, I think, right? A oh, poor opening by who's that? By NXT. Oh yeah, they're Oscar and uh, uh, and Baszler outdid the tag team title match. Very interesting. So they might see a, a little a little hurt there. Ripley got injured. Who else is getting? Maybe I should pay more attention to this. Balor injured for five weeks. That's crazy. Uh, okay. Over on Raw. Nikki Bella out for five weeks. Okay. No other injuries there. Yeah, growing tired of this one. Again, that's been going on from week one, but again, really not facing any type of penalty when it comes to when it comes to the match rating. It's still a 3.5 star normal main event. Uh, like that's crazy. This has been going from week one, so hopefully they they take a hit in the pop uh, the the fan growth. Uh, and us, any injuries? I don't think I saw any. We know, which is good. Perfect. Okay, so show quality C, match card quality B. Like to see that forty six thousand again. We were, we used to have like N seventy five thousand made, which is great. We used to have like thirty five to like thirty thousand fans per week now we're up in like the mid to high 40s every week so far this week so this is absolutely huge um show quality d match card quality b again 48 again just insane but they are at 200,000. they will not be able to get the big stadium this week which is fantastic that's good uh 44 for nxt so we put a little gap between us not much though just maybe a thousand maybe even less um they will they will get the big venue so not to watch out for nxt and again in the 30s high 30s at least for nxt 2.0 and again it would be hard to do a show with fifty-five thousand dollars at your disposal so we'll see we got a veto star which is uh pretty solid to have for wrestlemania very uh soon to be upcoming no one else has their second trophy yet so that still just keeps us in the lead even though we are now uh, 60,000 fans behind Raw, but hopefully we make a jump uh, here with our special promotion we're going to play this week and getting the big venue. Uh, ooh, okay. Uh, depending on how much he wants here, this should do for the rest 11k. That's perfect. I can do that. No problem. And he'll get the bonus. Or he won't get the bonus. Okay, that's annoying. Uh, what do you want? Cash suplex? 6k? Okay, that's fine. That's fine. We were over a million dollars, right, when I saw so. Look, this has got it. Yeah, Ignition, I'm sorry. 
Uh, moderate decrease, so not the worst. Uh, I think we can talk about my value to SmackDown. I've only gotten better since joining. Okay. Are you? Oh, please don't be looking for a bonus. I probably could, but I'd much rather this go to a power card. So I appreciate you. I do, but despite yeah, special treatment, it's an equal locker room in here. Way to go, Tyler Breeze. Let it be known. Interest equally sounds like an excuse to me. Major decrease. So that's annoying. But uh, okay. Oh, Triple H. That's not happening. Andrea Cannons is definitely cutting a. Uh, not cutting a promo, but having a match this week got to pay off that rivalry. So big stadium is available, and we are immediately going to buy that. Confirm. So now we, we're getting... This is the closest we've been to uh, to that $500,000 cap. So we're going to book all these, and I'm going to play two big power cards here. Oh, wow. I'm actually going to play a couple. I'm going to buy this here, so yes. Buy that for either Raw or NXT. Whoever comes out more uh, after this, this PLE here. I'm going to play this for us. Going to play this for us. Which maybe I like, arguably should have held that for WrestleMania. No, I think that's I think this is okay. Um, and then this is this, this is going to be brutal for... Uh, I'm not going to play it yet because I need to see who comes out in second place here for next week. I don't need to play the free special effects booking yet or advertising. I'm not that strapped yet. Um, played that already. And then I'm probably going to play the Tornado Alley. And there can only be one. So, okay. So let's get the... Everything is booked, right? Okay. So this is, uh, this is big here. This could really set us apart. This is level two. Uh, let me get the level four out of the way first. Where is Heath... There's one. Where is another level four? There's two. Did I have another one? Or is it just those two? Oh, and the tag team title feud. Okay. Okay. Um, all right. And everything else is either level one or level two or lower, which actually is kind of solid. Because we got to keep that in mind now. So this is going to cost us 90,000, but we are going to get an extra 30,000 fans uh, for the feuds coming out, which is good. We like to see that. We like to see that. Okay, let's go. Uh, these guys here, title on the line. This is going to blow off in. They did a TLC already, but stamina is too low on Chester or Olaf. So we have to make sure that they're not like completely useless after this, but uh, that is good. Or no, I have the... Uh, oh, oh, oh. I had to, yeah, whoops. Okay, so that's not going to happen. That could have been a big mistake. Tornado tag, it is high, but so is, so is TLC, so there's no problem. This is going to go in the opener. You can finish this off right here. Play a power card. So this should be, I, I think, I'd be actually more shocked if it wasn't a five-star match. To have that card boosted, it's a title match. It's uh, level three, it's killing off a rivalry, so there, we, that is good. We could then have uh, 47 stamina and uh, Carolina Reaper. Not happy now. Okay. That is at level two, which I'm actually kind of happy that it stayed there. And then where is the title over here uh, versus Nosedive? Who has the better popularity? It is 81 versus 62 and 80 versus 7. So that one will be in the main event. Got to make sure to put that on. And what was the other power card that I had? There could only be one, so that is a last man standing match. Perfect. Get that going, make this title match, and make it a last man standing. Stamina, I keep forgetting about that. The last man standing match is stamina low. It's just like, we have to watch out the morale boost. So, both of them are at least, can, like, at least happy, so that is good. How is this is gonna be a title match as well? That's gonna pay off. So that what 81 versus 62, 59, 59. Ooh, how do I line this up? Because that is level four. They've been putting in bangers, both 70 and higher. Uh stamina is not great for either of them, but I could do 
Hey, they've just been going through the table in Extreme Rule match over and over again. We're going to do that again. Hopefully, that'll be level four. The, or, you know what? I'm going to make this. They're going to get an Extreme Rules. This is going to be a tables match. That's paying off as well. This could be a normal. And I'm going to run in for Quaid to get a little bonus here. I can play this card as well. Coast to coast. Uh, they're not. I would. I don't think I'd ever buy a coast to coast. But while I have it, I might as well just get a little little bonus. Perfect. Everything is there, and then we gotta cut some promos here. So Buck and a couple of these big guys here are off the card, but they're at level two already, which is good. Um, we can do. I think that's what, yeah. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I'm gonna give Buck the night off, even though he's technically the highest, uh, the highest popularity or the second highest. But he need, I'm gonna let him recover his stamina, and everyone else is gonna get some some promo slots in. And is charity five thousand or ten thousand? It's ten thousand. Eh? We, we, we can make this add up. Charity there from Clay. Charity there from Daniel uh, Wallace. Charity there from Ali Brawler. Oh, I thought I had five slots. Whoops. Um, and charity from... I want to get... Penelope. Perfect. Do I change out Clay just to get his stamina up? I think I'm going to do that, actually. Uh, just to get Christina Fury on the card instead. This show is costing 160000 even with free arena. But it's not ridiculous, though. And then add 90... Thousand on top of that for three rivalries coming to an end that costs two hundred and fifty thousand So even if I make zero money from this show, I'm still gonna be Thirteen thousand dollars over our cap. <laughs> so I'm hoping that we do make money. We got all the bonuses here We got the GM bonus here This is looking like it's gonna be a pretty solid show checking free agents. Is there anybody for us? Sammy Vortex and Mr. Higglesby uh gonna leave them both there for now after the math we just did and i think we are ready to go yes we got the big stadium it's costing zero dollars which we are very happy about tornado tag power cards been played last man standing title match has been played let's go let's do it this should be a very good card i think i'd be shocked here Th this one here if this is not uh this is not okay five star four and a half I'd be shocked. Chester and Kombucha keep the title. Legendary five star. Rivalry completed. Fantastic. Charity plus 5,000. Good. I mean, I think that's just going to stay at 5,000 if I'm not mistaken. Normal one on one. Whitney Quaid versus Carolina Reaper. New champion in Carolina Reaper. Three and a half star match, and that grows to level three. So that's good. And she's really upset, though. So she might just walk out. <laughs> uh, Charity, that was good. Heath Manhattan versus Cash Suplex for the Intercontinental title. And Heath keeps his title. An amazing four-star match. Love to see that. Again, 5,000. That's good. We're going to get like 50,000 fans of bonus here. So that's pretty solid. Extreme Rules. Billy Slugger versus Andrew Cannon. Andrew Cannon picks up the win. Amazing four-star match. Penelope Perfect. Last one here to cut a promo. Excellent promo. It's 5,000 fans. The last man standing match, title match, power card played. This should be five star, and this would be an unbelievable card. Nick Nosedive gets his title back in a legendary five star match. That grows level three as well. Uh, so I'll we'll have to watch out for the fisherman here because he might. Uh, he took a morale dip, so we'll see about that. But what a fantastic card, honestly. Falls count anywhere. Cindy Fluff versus Lacey Evans. Cindy Fluff, fifty or sixty six popularity. Good for good for her. Hopefully, I can grab her next. Uh, next uh draft if possible raw it doesn't look like they got that big venue and if they did i would love to know how they afforded that but a false count anywhere match uh we got what's that it's a false count anywhere match in the main event i didn't even look to see what the ple bonus was so hopefully it doesn't hurt me too much and just judging by raw's card i'm guessing it's false count anywhere because there's three of them so skip that over on NXT, backstage brawls, a couple backstage brawl from NXT, so that's where they're putting their money, and they do have a big, uh, a big venue, so that is, this should be a solid card from NXT uh, Black and Gold. They are spending loads of money here. Uh, 180,000 in just the backstage brawls, 
then it comes to what two, uh, 240,000 in just their matches alone so they put their money to good use there unfortunately we have a money cap where we can do the same uh, NXT 2.0 not booking any promos extreme rules in the main event or sorry in the opener and it is an extreme rules match in the main event as well with Trish Stratus defending her title against Ronda Rousey so we have amazing booking I'm not shocked by this at all Raw's okay well Raw had to have been playing some some power cards here y you have to assume right what, okay let me focus on my stuff here first five and a half three point five four four and five so very happy with that but raw had a three five star matches that's insane any injuries that we get none which is good I'd like to see that raw what did they do here okay so there is no rivalry there this is finally completed and becky lynch got injured while she holds the title so that is luck lucky for us um Rey Mysterio has a five-week injury there. Uh, that's just at level two. New champions of John Cena and The Undertaker, tag team champions. And Lacey Evans injured for five weeks against Cindy Fluff, and that was a five-star uh, five star match. So I guess, again, mental note, mental note. Pay attention to the PLE uh, bonus matches because that really, really helped out Raw here. Over on NXT, any injuries? Uh, Kevin Nash, three weeks. Shayna Baszler, three weeks. And she just became new champion, I believe. Uh, and over on NXT 2.0, not the best show from them. But uh, this is going to be between me and NXT, I hope. Fan retention, that was huge. 195,000 fans. And we still even made money, even though our show was pretty expensive. So that is good. Match card quality A. Love to see that from the jobbers only, specialists only challenge. I think that's the first one we've done, we've done so far. So that is big for us. Raw, show quality D, match card quality A. That, that is insane. They didn't even do a, a, a fan retention. And they still got... That is nuts. I, I can't believe that... Um, maybe this is the hard difficulty. That like... Like I had a better card than them, what, two weeks ago? And then I thought maybe because of their, their popularity or their... I, I don't know. But Raw only... 15,000 fans behind. We're going to get an extra bonus 30 because of our uh, our power card. Um, over on NXT, show qu match card quality B, 139. So we really put us uh, a gap between us and, uh, and them with our power card. And then a total loss of 143,000. That kind of makes sense. Because they're going to get 20,000 fans because of their backstage brawls. They had a very expensive show. Um, over on NXT 2.0. 100,000 fans. So we really put a, a, a little, little gap between us and them. So where are we standing here? We we cl we really closed the gap between us and Raw. Adam Pierce, however, did get his second GM trophy. So that is uh, something to keep an eye on. But luckily, we put a big gap of 90,000 fans between us and NXT. But next week, he'll be shooting over Xavier Woods. Um, and they still don't have enough money to buy that uh, the big stadium yet. So that is good for us. Four weeks to WrestleMania. We still got we got five more weeks to hold on here. Hey, my contract's up at the end of the week. Y yeah, you're gonna stay. Um, maybe I might need to pay Carolina Reaper. I'll be interesting for 10k. Um, I'll just actually just add this because I think he's the only one. I hope he's the only one. So I'll play the extension card on him. Uh, had another this crap. Oh no, working at SmackDown. <laughs> a complete joke. I refuse to pay me a little too much, but nothing else is gonna cut it. A hundred. Uh, sorry, it's not gonna happen. I can start. I can start a rivalry fresh because that one. I that one is at level three, which is annoying to lose. Honestly, that is very annoying to lose. But uh, I have no choice. I'm not paying a hundred k. I only have two hundred fifty to work with. That's not gonna happen. Okay, so women's title is up for grabs. Listen, I'm not feeling physically f okay. You're probably 71 or 70 and stamina 31. Okay, that's not bad. Um, tell you what, take a week off at the health spa because popularity 70 is nothing to uh, to scoff at, especially with my jobbers only thing here. So I want to get him back in it. Take a week off. Moderate increase his morale, so that's good. Okay. Face off, all active rivalries are increased to level 4. That's pretty crazy. But will people get tired of that fast? 
Okay. Whoa, these are three good ones. I've had, I feel like the last two episodes I've had very, very weak <laughs> shake-up cards that even put me in a bind. These are pretty solid. Superstars are cut promos or sit out. A show will regain an additional four stamina. That is wild. This, though, going to level f all four... So <sighs> That's, that would be what? That would be the, the, uh, the men's main title. Buck and uh, Clay would go to four. The women's tag team title feud would go to four. But the stamina. We always need stamina. Um, hopefully this doesn't bite me. I'm going to turn all active rivalries increase to level four. That's what we're going to go with. Let me know Let me know down in the comments if I made the, the wrong choice there. But I'm hoping hoping that really helps us out but uh if you've uh, if you've watched this far i appreciate you thank you so much uh you can do one last thing it would be like this video share this video with, with your friends and if you're not already subscribed subscribe to the channel that helps out a lot if you haven't already as well leave a comment down below of who your favorite uh wrestler is it doesn't matter who they work for whether they're wwe aew impact new japan they can be on the indies if uh if, if they be just put their uh, their name down in the comments below and you'll be entered in the draft once we hit 1,000 subscribers. I will be doing a draft to give away one piece of merch to one lucky subscriber. So for the Mission Impossible My GM series, the next episode will be coming soon. I think we're back on track. Weather is over. And as always, thank you for watching.